My personal mission is to walk with people and to help them to feel that God walks with them in some way and inspires them to share their gifts and talents to do what they can to make their world a better place. One Sunday I was talking about an experience that I had in the spiritual exercises as a tertian in which I felt at the deepest level in, in a moment of great pain, Jesus was telling me, I know your pain. As I was sharing it, I got emotional again and was starting to cry. One of the women leaders of our community, she said, Padre, tú compartiste mucho con nosotros hoy. You really shared from the depths of who you are today. And she got up from where she was sitting and she just came up to me and placed her hand on my face. And I just felt like in that moment I had been given the world. Being a Jesuit means having a deep relationship with God, but also having your feet firmly planted on the ground. One of the things I love about being a Jesuit is that we take reality very seriously. That's really true of Ignatius. This was actually made by a friend of mine. It's Archbishop Oscar Romero. Kids will come in and they say, well, was he killed? And I say, well, absolutely. It's a reminder to me of our call to stand up for the rights of the least, even if it brings us into danger. People, when the first time they come to Dolores Mission, I show them, here's Dolores Mission. They say, wow, that's a small church. I'd, I thought it was, would be a lot bigger which says to me that the word on the streets and the image that people have of Dolores Mission is that it's a very big place. It's become a kind of an icon for immigrant rights and social justice and putting faith into practice. The fact that we have every night 50 men sleeping in our church means a lot out there and that looms large in people's minds and Dolores Mission has become a kind of symbol of welcome and of standing with people who are poor and who are on the margins. We have 231 students in this school, K through eighth grade elementary school, which is a good population given that a lot of inner city Catholic schools are struggling. Our great mission is to send kids on to Catholic high schools because once we do that, there's a 98% chance that they will go on to some sort of university or college. Because the local public school high school graduation rate is below 50%, we believe that if we can get our kids into Catholic high schools, it will significantly change their lives and this community's life. These are my parents. This is my mother, Carol. This is my father, Adelio. He's Italian, if you couldn't tell. This is a quilt that my mother made for me, and she gave it to me because I think she feels that this is me, the the good shepherd watching over the sheep of Dolores Mission. Not all the sheep are going in the same direction. Most of them are. But then you have one down here that's wandering off and going off in his own direction. And we know that from the parable of the 99 sheep that Jesus goes after that very one. They live in Sacramento, which is where I grew up. So I'm a northerner. I went to Jesuit high school back in 1980, and I graduated in 84. That gives you a sense of my age. I loved Jesuit high school, and I felt that the deepest, at the deepest sense, the teachers were in our corner, both the Jesuits and the lay teachers, and I, they also seemed very happy doing what they're doing. So I think that was really the birth of my vocation. This means a lot to me. It reminds me of my mission, and, it's, and I, I think of my mother when I, when I look at it. A few years ago, we had been given a gift of money to buy a statue of St. Ignatius Loyola. And instead of getting something which was kind of stock, we decided to ask if we could find out, see if we could get someone to design one. So because we have a shelter every night, I asked if one of them was an artist. And sure enough, a guy showed up and had a binder full of work that he had done. So I gave him a brochure about Ignatius and asked him if he could depict St. Ignatius in the years or in the time of his life when he was a beggar. He came up with this design which we had bronzed and I think it's good for us because here in East LA, one of the great things of this community, the great qualities is, is their trust and reliance on God. If I could speak to St. Ignatius, I'd say first of all, thank you. I'd give him a great big abrazo, a great big hug. I feel deeply grateful for all that he's done in his spirituality, which has enabled me to find the exact place I'm supposed to be in my life.